Hello everybody, my name is Carla and you've reached my FlossTube channel, Carla Being Crafty. Um, but today again is a Moving Chronicles video number six, I believe. Um, I am basically a week and a half away from my official, uh, official move, but really like a week away from my um, personal move, which I will explain in a minute. Um, today is Sunday the 15th. Um, and as you can see, I am basically surrounded by boxes. Um, so it is utter chaos here. I am thoroughly exhausted. Um, and it, you know, it's not gonna show any sign of letting up for the next week. Um, so uh, when I left you last, Julie was here helping me um, do a ton of all of my craft stuff. And, um, this morning, well, I will tell you over the course of last week, I didn't do a, a ton. I tried, you know, my goal is like to do a little bit every night and that happened maybe two nights. Um, I got almost all of my, uh, fine, my desert rose, um, boxed and, um, the little glasses and stuff. So I think this is going to be like one box for like the big serving stuff, um, and then a box for the fancy glasses. And um, I think that should do it. I might do that tonight. Um, but I just, I've been really exhausted this week. I feel like I'm slightly fighting cold. Um, it's not really manifesting. It's just, I like, kind of feel uh, <clears throat> sniffly. Just bleh. Um, now part of that actually could very well be allergies because as you know we have had wildfires in California and so the air quality hasn't been that great luckily it has cooled off um after Tuesday it cooled off quite a bit um so today I had um I was supposed to have my both my friends uh, Greg and Lisa come over Lisa unfortunately Greg had a cold last week a really bad cold and unfortunately Lisa caught it so she didn't come Greg came for a couple hours to help me um and I and, and so we started on the kitchen. I finished the stuff that was sort of in the dining room. I think there's one little um, pile, uh, if you will. Hi, Baggy. You want to come up here and say hi to everybody? Oh. Yes? No? He, of course, when anybody's over here, is completely uh, hidden. He won't come out and say hi, but I think he's going to come up. I think he's going to come up and say hi to you guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. There he is. He exists. See? Um, what was I saying? Oh, so Greg came over to help me, and we started in the kitchen. Um, basically, I think we've gotten everything um, out of the cabinets in the kitchen. Um, there is a little pile on the floor that I need to box up. And then there's stuff, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's stuff all like on the counters and everything. Um, I got to a point uh, around 1.30 or so um, where I was just exhausted and I felt like, I kind of feel like whatever's left in the kitchen, um, I need to go through because um, it's a lot of like, you know, spices and pantry stuff and things like that, that I kind of have to look at it and decide if I'm going to bring it or toss it. Um, and that's not something that somebody else can help me with. Um, and it's such a small space that, you know, it's hard, you know, and I'm, I'm down to like the end part where I can't really say, oh, go unpack that, you know, that piece of furniture, you know, whatever. <sighs> All that has been done. So it's not like I can send somebody off to help me with something else. Um, so, and I was just, I was getting really worn out. So I said, thank you, Greg, <laughs> you are dismissed for the day. Um, and um, I took a little bit of a nap. So I'm up now. Um, it's about four o'clock and I'm ready to get back to it um, and put in good, you know, four hours of work, if not, if more than that. Um, and finish the kitchen, hopefully, um, and, you know, the pantry and all that kind of stuff. So I did make a decision this week, um, which I feel kind of like buys me a tiny bit of cattail, 
cocktail. Um, a tiny bit of extra packing time. Um, so my movers are coming on the 26th, which is a week from Thursday, from next Thursday. And um, I had just been planning to take off the Thursday and Friday. Um, but I realized that I'm just, okay, this tag, it looks really silly on camera. Um, I'm just too, I'm getting too overloaded physically. I'm getting too exhausted and to try and cram all of that stuff and, you know, and with work, it just didn't make any sense. So I told my boss I'm going to take off the whole week and he was fine with it. Um, and the other thing that was causing me some anxiety with the move, I mean, aside from you know, just the typical anxiety, is Baggy. Because, you know, of course, I love him. I want the transition for him to be smooth. And, you know, I'm stressed about it. So what I decided to do, well, and then the other thing is, <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys are aware, I have an Ikea daybed. I don't know if you can even see it here through oh, my sandwich that I'm going to eat in a minute. Um, it's an Ikea daybed. I've had it since I moved after my divorce, so since 2017. So I've had it for like eight years, right? Um, 18, 19, Almost eight years, yeah. And it has been taken apart and moved once. And Ikea furniture is really not meant to withstand that. I mean, it's at the end of its life. Um, so the first idea that we had, because there is a bed for me in uh, the new house. Well, it's not a new house, new to me house. Um, and Lorraine has been for a while wanting to get rid of or replace the little sofa in the living room. So I was like, well, we can use my day bed as the little sofa, as the sofa in the living room, you know, and then it's extra, uh, guest sleeping. If, if anybody comes from out of town or anything like that. So that was the first idea. Um, and one of the things about the sofa that is in the living room right now, um, I am all for it being replaced because although it is squishy and comfortable when you're sitting in it. It is so low. It is really painful for me to actually get out of it. It's like trying to get it from off the floor. So, um, so I'm happy with, with changing it. And the original idea was that we would just use this, but I realized this past week as I was doing some work and I kind of like moved this day bed a little bit to try and sweep, it's falling apart and I don't think it's going to survive another move. So, I called Lorraine, I told her that, and she's like, well, I want to get a new sofa anyway, so no problem. So then I'm like, well, what do I, you know, what about this thing here? So I did talk to Greg today, and the idea is, is that he will take it apart for me, um, and we can put it in the dumpster next Sunday. So that's the big job next Sunday. The only thing is, is when we do that on Sunday, I have no place to sleep. Now, if we keep the mattresses that are on it at least for a day, I could possibly sleep on the mattresses on the floor for one night, but I certainly cannot do that for very long. Um, just, I can't get up off of it comfortably and it's just gonna, yeah, it's gonna be very difficult. So either Sunday night or Monday, I will start sleeping in Long Beach because my bed is already set up there. It's, I made the bed yesterday when I was over there visiting with Lorraine um, and it's all ready for me. So the idea is, is that I'm going to actually physically move baggy and all baggy stuff and all of my, you know, like my toothbrush and my hairbrush and all the like stuff I need on a day-to-day -day basis and my medicines and stuff like that. I'm going to move all that on next Monday and I'm going to physically kind of be living, I guess, in Long Beach as of Monday, Monday night. And then I have all day with baggy. Um, to get him acclimated, to be there while he's smelling the new smells and, you know, <clears throat> checking out his new box. And I got him a new <clears throat> piece of a cat tree. I have, um, you guys have seen when I do the, the spin around here that I have a cat tree for Baggy. I'm, I'm thinking that you can, can you see that? I can't tell. Yes. So, so I do have that cat tree, <clears throat> but, um, I got another like piece of cat tree that can go with that. I'm going to take off that top 
really ratty looking thing on the cat tree because Baggy doesn't ever go up there anymore. Um, it's a little bit small of a perch for him. So uh, I'm going to take all that, that part off. But anyway, there's another cat tree over there for him now. And um, so I will take him over on Monday, so a week from tomorrow, um, and be able to be there all day with him um, and sleep there that night. And then I have Tuesday and Wednesday to come back to the apartment and finish any last minute boxing, uh, you know, do clothes if I haven't gotten them all out of the closet yet, everything like that. Um, so I will have two days before the movers come um, to be able to two full days to be able to do all the last minute stuff. Um, and it'll be good because I will already physically, you know, have moved myself. So I don't have to worry about, well, I need this now because I'm using it kind of thing. Everything can go, um, into a box or into a bag to take physically over to Long Beach. So <clears throat> that is the big decision that happened this week. Um, I have, Oh, another reason when, why I was like, uh, kind of done today with Greg, or at least done for a few minutes, <clears throat> a few minutes, a couple hours, so I could take a little nap, um, is I'm getting really low on boxes. Um, I have probably about six or seven boxes left. Um, a couple of them are really small, so they're not, they're only good for, you know, kind of sorting stuff. Like I'm probably going to put the spices in a really small box because I'm going to, go through everything I have and toss out anything that's old. <clears throat> so I needed to order some more boxes. So I did that, uh, before I, before I took a nap, I ordered some more small bankers boxes and medium regular boxes. Um, I may have ordered too many, but I'd rather have boxes left over at the end than not have stuff to put stuff in. And that's where I am. Um, you know, every time I've posted one of these guys, you guys are all, one of these videos, you guys are all, you're doing great, you're, you know, and I think I am, I think I'm on track. I mean, it still feels overwhelming. It still feels like I have so much left to do and not very much time to do it in. And physically, I am wrecked. You guys, my knees are just, just, I'm wrecked. <laughs> so, um, I am looking forward to being on the other side of this move, definitely. And then it's all the unpacking and organizing, but that part is kind of fun. So anyway, that's where I am. Um, I think that that was everything I needed to share with you. I especially wanted to share the thing about actually physically moving on Monday. Um, I did order a new cat carrier <clears throat> for Baggy. Um, the most effective one that I've used with him have been like the soft ones that, you know, you can kind of carry like a shoulder bag. Um, and when I moved here, <clears throat> he was in one of those and it was fine, <clears throat> except it ripped. Not really while we were moving here, but like the next time I tried to use it, <clears throat> it had mesh and he was, he had ripped through the mesh. And I think it's just because it got a little bit old. So I ordered a new one of those for him. I have a big, I don't know if you can see down the hall up there, that <clears throat> is a hard sided case that I got last time I had to take him to the vet and it was a nightmare um, because he was able to push his way out of it and the handle like pulled off while I was holding it. It was just, it was a nightmare. I don't want to deal with it again. And it's so heavy and big and clunky. I can't get it up and down the stairs easily. I mean, I'll have to go back up the stairs, but I would have to get him down the stairs safely. And, and I <clears throat> doubt my ability to do that with that one. So I did get a new carrier, I think for the half an hour drive to Long Beach with him, it will be fine. Um, and yeah, so I'm hoping everything goes well with moving him. That's, I'm a little bit anxious about. I'm also anxious with just all of these boxes that when I get it all there, Lorraine is just going to be like, Oh my God, what did I get myself into? Um, I mean, the reality is, is that I have a lot of my furniture pieces are like storage things. So when you empty them all, it's a lot of boxes and I just, you know, I hope that the movers, when they dump it off, they're able to do it in a way that, you know, I still can move around a little bit to start unpacking. Um, I mean, the boxes up here, they're not stacked from the floor. These are on top of a desk. So, um, 
But, you know, over here, those are, you know, stacked from the floor wall. And then the back ones are on top of the dresser. I mean, I don't know. The dresser will be there so they can stack them on top of the dresser there, too. And I'm just hoping it all works out. I mean, I know I have more stuff here than I will need there. So, um, like, furniture pieces-wise. I have a lot of little carts and things that, um, let's see. There's one right there. I have a lot of things like that. Like, yeah, that. Um that I've gathered over the last eight years. Um, I mean, I didn't get them all at once, but, um, and I use them for different things. And I think that there's several that I will be able to use in the new place, but, um, and maybe in different ways and different rooms and stuff. But I think that I might have an abundance of them that I'm not going to need. But again, all of that stuff will get sorted once I'm there. Um, I think that's it for now. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me and, and being interested about this, this journey in my life. And, um, one more week or a week and a half, but really only one week before I physically am going to be sleeping somewhere else. So that is exciting. And I am, I'm in so many ways looking forward to it. And, um, I just need to get the rest of this stuff packed. I looked around, I look around and, and I have, there's too many like little bits that are just kind of sitting on top of something that need to go in the box. And, and you know, I got to start doing that. But again, um, <clears throat> I do have those two extra days to kind of help with that. So um, that's where I'm at. And thank you for listening. And until I see you again, please remember to be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla. Bye-bye.